What is up FEG fam? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, well, today's video was supposed to be my honest review of Shen He. I mentioned in my first impressions video of her that I was going to wait a couple of days, try her out a little bit more, and then give my honest review, right? And that was supposed to be today's video, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there's not really a point for me to make an honest review video, and there's a couple of reasons for that. So, first and foremost, the reason why I don't feel the need to make an honest review video of Shen He is because my opinions of this character didn't really much change from that first impressions video that I made a couple of days ago. I still have really the same opinions about this character. I mentioned in that first video that I thought Shen He was a fantastic character and I still think that to this day. Matter of fact, I thought Shen He, before she even released, was going to be a great character. If you look at my previous videos of before Shen He released in the game, I was stating that already. And I also stated that I think she's going to surprise people on how good she really is. I thought that she was going to actually exceed certain individuals expectations of her and that seemed to have come true that seemed to have come to fruition but also what I stated in that same video is that she's a bit niche you definitely want to pair her with other crowd characters I still think that to this day as well and I still don't recommend her for free to play light spenders or new players of the game I stated that in my first impressions video also and that remains true. I, I still think that even though she's fantastic and even though I used her some more, also by the way, I got the Calamity Queller just as a spoiler. I did obtain the weapon and it is fantastic. But even with all those things being the case, I still believe she is a skip for free to play light spenders and new players of the game. Unless you are Cryo mains, unless you main Ayaka, Ganyu, you just want them to be doing more damage than they already are then that's a different story. Or if Shen He is just the character you need in your life, that's a different story as well. But basically the TLDR, all of my opinions pretty much remain the same. I really don't have any different opinion on this character. So I don't feel the need to make a, a different video, a separate video on that. But also another thing, and probably even more prevalent, is that there are some absolutely fantastic reviews of this character on YouTube already that you can check out for yourselves. Now, I don't watch a whole lot of YouTube content creators for Genshin Impact, admittedly, but I do watch a few. They are fantastic nonetheless. One of them that comes to mind that did an absolutely fantastic review of Shen He that I truly recommend you go watch is Ark Revener Plays or Ark. Ark did a fantastic job of reviewing Shen He, mentioning things that I didn't even think of that I thought would be super valuable to a lot of you guys. So I will leave a link to his review video down in the description below. Please go give it a watch, give it a like, sub. He is a fantastic content creator. I truly recommend you go ahead and sub to his channel. Also another one, I don't believe he went ahead and made a review just yet, but I know he's making absolutely fantastic guides as always, and that is my good friend Hydro Sam. Make sure most of you know already, but just in case you don't know, Hydro Sam, fantastic content creator, a good friend of the channel as well, and he makes great guides. He already made one really good one on Shen He. I believe he's coming out with another one if I'm not mistaken, so I will leave a link to the video he did about Shen He already down in the description below. Give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe to him and tell him I sent you over as well. Let them both know. <laughs> Anyways, so that's the that's the other reason. That's the second reason, I, and I don't think it's necessary for me to do that. So in today's video, I decided to do something different. I decided to talk about Yai Miko again, but this time what I wanted to go ahead and talk about specifically is the things that you can start getting together right now. So that on day one, you are ready to level 90 your Yai Miko and actually use her in game when she drops. So there are a few materials that you can start gathering right now to get yourself prepared and ready that I've been doing and I know a lot of other people have been doing. So let's go over those materials at this time. Right, so really quickly, before we do go over the materials, I just want to give a massive shout out to Honey Hunter World. If you want to check this out for yourself, a link to their website will be in the description down below. You can check all of this information out for yourself. Once again, massive shout out to Honey Hunter World. Always doing a fantastic job keeping us up to date with this information, so thank you so much. Also wanted to mention that these materials are subject to change. Keep that in mind. Now, it's very rare if it happens at all. 
but did want to mention that as a disclaimer just in case now with that being said let's go over the material so the very first one that i did want to go over and this will be for her ascension material to level her up is going to be the C Ganoderma. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I do apologize, but that is going to be the first one. Why it's not the other material right here for Ayaka, the Sakura Bloom, I will never know. That was a running joke in our Discord. Join the Discord. A link will be in the description down below. You can join the Discord <laughs> to be a part of some giveaways. You like that smooth transition, huh? Anyways, uh, that'll be the first material that you're going to go ahead and need. And then, of course, if we take a look at the other ones, uh, the belt buckles guys you're gonna want to start farming this as of today you know how hard the belt buckles are to come by go ahead and grab yourself start getting these hand guards uh, all together stocked up and start hoarding these uh, because you're gonna need these to level her up as well now you're going to need the new boss material as well from the new vishap I don't believe I have any right now because I think I just used them all for my Shenhe but you know the new boss that we just got in Economia you're going to be needing those, so you're going to want to start spamming that boss as well, as you can go ahead and do that right now. And then, of course, the Electro Chunks. You can start getting these together. I'm sure you already have them all together, so you should be all set there. So that is for the leveling up materials to get her to level 90 if you plan on going all the way to level 90. Now, the Talent Ascension materials, the talent books that she's going to need are the same one as the Raiden Shogun, which is fitting the Philosophy of Light guide to light teachings of light you can start going and farming that domain getting those together also the belt buckles once again that's why you should be hoarding these or starting this today i know it's a far way away before she releases but i say get ready now so you don't have to worry about it later and you can use the character as soon as they release that is the most important part so start getting these hand guards together because you're going to need them for the talent as well now there is a brand new material for a possible new boss that we don't have in game so that is the other one that we're going to have to wait for so i uh, we won't be able to have access to that material just yet until probably patch 2.5 when she releases so we'll have to wait for that and then of course hero wits mora you already know the deal anyways guys those are the materials that you can start getting together right now and have them just you know already all farmed up ready to go so once again you don't have to worry about it later you can just focus on the possible new boss and then focus on artifacts of course anyways hopefully this video was helpful hopefully you got something from it i appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you want to support a little bit further there will be a link to gamer subs the sponsor of the channel you can click the link and use code further beyond gaming at checkout to get 10 percent off everything in the store grab yourself a waifu shirt they are one of the most comfortable shirts i have ever worn they look fantastic as well and grab yourself some gamer subs i literally use i kid you not gamer subs every morning i put them with uh, some of my brand chain amino acids put about two to three scoops of my gamer subs in there because the flavoring is fantastic it gives me all organic caffeine energy additional perks and they just are great products so go ahead and give them a try as well and uh, thank you guys if you do pick up anything it supports the channel directly helps us to do bigger and better things anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here and uh, once again, I appreciate you guys. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in literally everything that you do. My name is Cody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.